now moved to 51st and Wentworth, one of the district uh, police stations here for the Chicago Police Department. You can see that they have a squad car out in front uh, in some barricades up, but not a heavy police presence, at least outside. Now, the reason why we are here is because that group that we've been following all afternoon long, all night long, we were told we're on their way here. Now, a lot of people beat the uh, group that is walking here, which is going to take a, a little time now, but they are standing outside on the sidewalk. They are still standing behind the barricade. They're not uh, chanting or uh, rallying, so to speak, right now. It looks like they're just kind of waiting perhaps for that other group to get here, um, but they have just stayed behind the barricade and that's pretty much all that they have done. Now, while we were on our way here, while we were driving here, um, we did see that a number of businesses on 51st Street uh, had been broken into, and I mean, everything was just gone. One of them was a furniture store. There was nothing left in there. Uh, there was a couple of uh, other stores that we saw along the way. Uh, all the windows had been broken out and everything inside was gone. We saw some people on the street uh, struggling, really just to carry whatever they could. There was uh, one person that I saw uh, had probably dropped the box about three times, but they were not going to give up on whatever they had uh, taken from one of those stores. We saw no police presence down there at all at that point. Um, and there really wasn't anything left in the store, so there wasn't a lot of people even hanging around down there at that point. But right now we are at 51st and Wentworth um, waiting for the group that we've been following all afternoon, all evening long to join this other crowd here. Um, and I assume that we're going to see a lot more police out here uh, at some point. But right now it's just a very light police presence in front of the uh, of the of the precinct here. Um, there they did. They have tried to block off all of the driveways to try and keep people out. And so far, uh, even the, the group that is here, they haven't even made an attempt um, to go on to the grounds here. We will uh, be hanging out here until that other group arrives and see how everything shakes out then and we will report back to you uh, a little later on once that group joins them here back to you guys okay eric joe did you have something for yeah, eric i was just sip, type, curious eric. Uh, you talked to jamal green just a short while ago and he uh, warned against arresting any of these peaceful demonstrators even though we're coming up on now two hours past the curfew right eric yeah he had talked a lot about that he said all that's going to do is really um, incite a lot of uh, a lot more problems, uh, some police cars and an ambulance now just uh, going by the uh, precinct here. But um, yeah, he, he said that uh, that's just going to make things worse. Um, but one thing that he did say, and I think Taman and Jackie, both of you said something. Uh, I wanted to ask him about it, they, but the uh, uh, producers had asked me to throw it back to you guys in the studio was uh, on the number of arrests and that they were peaceful protesters. They, and I wanted to challenge him on that as well, because, you know, a lot of the people that were arrested last night were not peaceful protesters. These are the peaceful protesters. These people that I've been following, this group that I've been following, these are the ones that are demonstrating. They're the ones out here that are protesting for a, uh, a cause. They want to get a message out there about injustice when it comes to uh, police in the way the, they are, the people of color are treated by police, which is historically, uh, there's a, a huge mistrust between the police department and people of color here in Chicago. Now, a lot of the people that were arrested, they, they weren't out here demonstrating. They were just straight up rioting and causing problems and, you know, throwing things at police, hitting police. Um, so th th those people that were arrested, uh, they were not just, uh, uh, they weren't just uh, demonstrators um, peacefully protesting out here. Um, but yeah, he said that if they, if they any more arrests of, of peaceful protesters, then it would be, um, it would just make things worse. Some people now starting to walk up to the police line um, right in front of the doors there. We're going to keep an eye on this. Uh, we'll get back to you if uh, things escalate here.